Hi, I'm Lori Riviere with ShortcutsToFabulous.com and I'm here in sunny Miami, Florida at the Fabulous Touch Boutique and I'm going to give you some tips on fun ways to take photographs in places. So, first up, when you're taking photographs somewhere, you're going to need a camera. And obviously you can take photographs with your smartphone, I have an iPhone here, or you can use a regular camera. Now, Smartphones have come a long way and you can really take some great shots, but you're going to want to buy some accessories for that smartphone so that you can take some really great pictures. So just Google the type of smartphone that you have and camera accessories and you'll find some really great accessories that you can purchase for not a lot of money. But I'm going to focus today on those of us traveling or going to places with our regular camera. So. One thing that I think is a really great buy and you can get for under $30 is a mini tripod. So a mini tripod is like so and you can set it up to take photographs in locations um, and you can take some really great photographs. So it has a little screw top here and most of your cameras, all of your cameras are going to have to set up for a tripod. So the mini tripod, it's great because it's portable and it can travel with you. So you just attach your camera to the tripod and then you have to do a little bit of adjusting for your photograph. So you're going to want to adjust it to be straight or maybe not. Maybe you're going to have a little fun and do something sideways or lopsided. But so you're going to take your tripod and you can put this anywhere and then you can set your camera to the timer, the automatic timer and you can get in, in the shot yourself. So this is a great way to take group shots or really take some really fun shots. You can even take some interactive action shots with this. So what you'll do is you'll set up the tripod, you'll set up your timer, and then go out and have fun. Give some movement and some life to your portraits. So a mini tripod, that's one thing. There's another little device called the quick pod. And what I love about this is this is a way that you can, without using a self timer, you can take photographs of yourself. So the way the quick pod works is it's got like an extender item here and it, it functions the same way as the mini tripod. So I'm going to take off the mini tripod, actually fold it up really quick here. And then I'm going to attach my quick pod tripod to the camera. So you just screw it on and you then have some way for you to take photographs of yourself. So it's got a nice little adjustable arm and it has this clear little bracket where you can tighten it so it'll, it'll stay put. And if you're going to take a photograph of yourself, you just hold it out and snap the photograph. Again, you'll use the self timer, but you can take really fun photographs and close up shots. And this is a great place. I used it at the Eiffel Tower and I got some really, really cute shots that way. So I would say these are probably the two most necessary accessories for fun photographs. Another thing that you can do when you go on, on a trip or to a place is you can actually create cardboard cutouts of different items like a mustache or lips or eyeglasses and you can use those in the photograph to create some fun witty photographs. A lot of people feel like they have to frame an entire face into a shot but don't be afraid to take some close-ups of hands, fingers, toes, especially when you're photographing children. Those make really really fun shots. Another thing that you can do in locations is take pictures of the object itself with a part of your, your anatomy. So for example, your hands holding out the peace sign, or you can try and do some writing on something. So you could take a piece of paper and write a message and take a picture of that in front of the location. And those are some tips on some fun ways to take photographs in places. I'm Lori Riviere with ShortcutsToFabulous.com. <laughs>